All right. <laughs> we are here back. Rick Santorum, can you, uh, how can you reassure evangelical voters that Donald Trump won't change positions again on issues like abortion? He has kind of flip-flopped on that one. Look, I, I will tell you that I campaigned against Donald Trump in a primary, and you know he was all over the map. And here's what I believe. I believe that he is a Republican. I believe that he has surrounded himself with Republicans in his campaign. I believe he's, a, he's appointed people uh, like Christie, like Pence, who are... But he's, only a, he's only a recent Republican. No, look, you got to admit that. Is, I mean, is, is, well, how many Tara, Republicans Tara, do you know Tara, giving Tara, money Tara, to Democrats Tara will, the way will, Donald Trump Tara has? will, back, will back, back this up. Personnel is policy. It's who you surround yourself with. Sure. It's who's going to... And, and Trump has been pretty clear. I mean, he's surrounding himself, his picks yeah. on the court. I mean, he's he all in now. But right. he's all in. Not and his so campaign, I don't, though. It, his yeah. campaign is, has a bunch of Democrats in well, there, from Michael of, Cohen to Omarosa. There's th not very, very many well, Republicans some of those are personal friends. that he's surrounding himself with. Well, some of those are personal friends. And, you know, look. But, I, some but, interesting. but, even, the, the yeah, but even you can attest to this, that a campaign is a microcosm of how you would govern. And this has been a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a clown show every week. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So that's and, a concern with, for me. With all due respect. With all due respect, this clown show beat 16 other folks including who had a lot, including me, who had, <laughs> who, had, who, had a, who had a lot, in many cases, a lot more money and a, and, right. and a lot better staff and a right. lot better organization. No, it, but that's I mean, partially this why, is, because this there is, were 16, there no, 15 I disagree. other candidates Even when it got there, down to two or three. vanity campaigns right. this is that the, I think this is the new normal. And I, that's I think the celebritization of politics, okay. I think you're making the celebritization of politics and the use of social media is transforming politics. And... What? We better get we better get our hands what, what around Jeff it. Jeff Ross, you're try, always I'm trying to make friends, always Trump, trying to bridge gaps. Thank That's you. That's what I love Thank about you. Jeff Trump, Ross. There's no question he has momentum. I think civilization had a great run. <laughs> <laughs> Time to try something new. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Rob Reiner, does your upcoming biopic LBJ characterize him more or less? favorably than other recent portrayals. Well, what's the, the, the last one was the, the All the Way. The, right, you know. I guess that's... Well, I, I think what I tried to do is humanize him. I mean, he... This is he, the Woody he, Harrelson? He is, yes, Woody Harrelson, who's oh. absolutely brilliant in it. I mean, off the charts brilliant. Yeah. It, 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 it you know, he, he's a very... He showed us some... He showed us the, 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 the makeup. On, it's it, well, he showed us dancing, remember, yeah. on his phone? But he's a... LBJ is a very complicated character, very oh, yeah. complicated person. He was almost Shakespearean in, in, sure. in, in a way. I mean, he was at odds with himself. Uh, he was very tremendously insecure and at the same time tremendously effective as, as a legislator. So, uh, you know, many people have said if it had not been for the Vietnam War, he would have gone down as a great president when you think about the accomplishments he had with Medicare and the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act and Medicaid and and uh, Head Start. I mean, he did... Not everyone is for those programs. No, no, I understand, and, but... And... <laughs> No. Did, did, yeah. did you, you say it like it's a universally right. yeah. accepted? Well, I think uh, people do like Medicare. They, well, well, they do. Even the Republicans yeah. like yeah, Medicare. Yeah, but the, the war, like on, the war changes, on poverty, yes. you know, right. a couple trillion dollars yeah. later has been an ultimate failure. And the whole the thing about keeping... The war on poverty? Keeping, yeah. Excuse me. The, the war on poverty has uh, been a disaster. Me, You're kidding? Have you been to any urban cities yeah. lately? Look at... Not, look, okay, okay but... but <laughs> look at but look, really, look at the state, senior look at the state of, 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 like of urban America today versus 50 years ago, and you tell me that the state of urban America today is better than it was no, 50 no, years that's ago. That's right. But it's a disaster. But and, Medicare was a big part no, no, of no. the war on poverty. Yes. The war on poverty so, is an overarching broke, name, and they're going broke. Wait a second. Yeah, Before be the war on poverty and Medicare, something like 28 percent of seniors lived in poverty. Now it's under 10. That's called a success. Mm. Except that it's going broke. Yeah. Except that you'll never see the, it. I'll never see it. It's going broke. So the well, idea of providing health care. It's going broke for, in like 2040. The idea yeah. of no, providing right. health care is one thing. The way it's right. provided is, is just. Right. And, and what about the what well, about the Civil Rights Act no, and the Voting Rights Act? These well, are very, very Republicans. Big. And, no, and by the way, Republicans, Republicans for the Civil no, Rights no, Act. No one is. Democrats. That's true. That's it true. And it turned the South. Into sensible people on the left, no, by the that way, was 20 years after. sensible Democrats are for fixing it. As I recall, President Obama wanted a grand bargain, and so did John Boehner. Who stopped it? On entitlement reform? The rednecks in your oh, party. Oh, that's not true. No. Absolutely. The Tea Party. Barack John Obama Boehner, walked away excuse from the table. me, John Boehner and Barack Obama wanted to have a grand bargain a few years ago on this. Obama's the one who put entitlement reform on the table. For a little bit of tax raising of the taxes. What did he propose? He proposed nothing. 
It, that, he that, put it on the table, said, oh, I'd do it, but he proposed nothing. Then he why, then no why did Boehner want the deal? But, but, look, we need to have entitlement reform. We need to have a bipartisan deal on that. But the president has to lead, and he didn't. You know, you never give the other guy credit for anything. Look, I give it's him credit just, when he leads. He didn't lead. Oh, please. Can I ask us a... Jeff, who would be your dream roast? That guy. Thank you. <laughs> Up some gravy. Let's go. Uh, that's, uh... <laughs> who's going to bring the booties? What I'd like to understand is, if you're both Republicans, what t help me understand how one can go for Trump and one couldn't. What's the what's the one issue? What do you grab onto where you, that pushes you to over to endorse well, him after being? Well, I'm not the one making excuses for holder. him. So she's yeah. a he, she's a common. I understand. It's a little different. Right. So he, you feel beholden to the party? Well, no, 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 not no, necessarily not at all. What it is, but no. I mean, Rick has been in the arena. Right. You know, a, a sitting senator two terms. Yeah, that's a little different than someone like you or me or Tara who just. Talks. Okay, well, that's for now. I didn't just talk, though. I worked in Capitol Hill for many years and did many things that, that affected people's holder? lives. No, I okay. worked for an office holder, but it, it affects people's lives. I mean, office holders don't do anything without their staff, so it's not yeah. like I haven't do done anything. Do a few things. Yeah. yeah, well. I mean, it's, it, it is a little <laughs> they, different to hold the office. No, absolutely, because yes. there is a certain, there's a lot of conflict. I have friends on Capitol Hill, you know, other congressmen who are, they're, they're tormented over this decision because they feel a certain um, obligation to you know, to the party and to their constituents who want to vote for this guy. But at some point, you have to stand up like Adam Kinsinger just did and say, you know, I'm an American first and this is unacceptable. And Donald Trump doesn't really represent what we do. We would never put up with this. We are criticized. People are making excuses for Donald Trump that they would never allow a Democrat to get away with. And I think that's hypocritical. Okay, let's get away from politics for our last question before our break. Uh... Olivia R. wants to know, will Brazil be able to pull off the Rio Olympics without any major health or security event? Uh, security event, maybe. Health, I don't think so. Uh, I, I gotta say... It's a mess. What a shit. I mean, I remember reading about Brazil only a few years ago. Like, they were the new right. big boy country on the block. And now I read that they pour the sewage right into the water without treating it. Uh, you know, you know the, of the 50... Cities, uh, the most violent cities in the world, Brazil has 21 of them. Yeah. Mm. 64,000 murders a year. Jeez. You How know? much did they pay the Olympic Committee to get to get the Olympics? Because they they never should have been. Rio never should have been in, uh, selected. It was ridiculous. I mean, it was only a year after the selection that um, that Brazil went into a major recession. It's corrupt. Their president is impeached for goodness sakes. And people were rioting in the streets because of eminent domain. The Olympics come in, they take people's houses, and they think they pro make all these promises. But the people there are the ones suffering. But it used too. to be why when are we you giving got... it to countries that can't sustain it? It used to be when you got the Olympics. You got your shit together. Right. Yep. You know, it was like, this is our moment. The world's going to be looking at us. But now their shit's in the water. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs>